to a new vlog. In this reading vlog, I will be reading the Atlas 6. Now, I have got this book, I think last year, right after its release, I believe. And it was all before the, you know, insane hype that it got afterwards. Wherever you look, you will see people talking about this book and of course i've heard mixed opinions about it some people really love it however there are a few people who were kind of disappointed by this book and i read i think the first 25 pages or so and i wasn't really in the mood of reading it so i kind of put put it aside and decided to just like wait until i feel like i am in the mood for it it happens that months have kind of went by and i really like didn't find the the right mood i guess and i wasn't really reading that much in the past uh, few months or i would say since november 2021 i got into a reading slump for multiple reasons i'm not gonna go into any of them right now However, I do feel that I would say last month I kind of picked up the rhythm more. I feel like I have been in more of an um, actual reading mood. I just finished yesterday actually uh, The Way of Kings and I just wanted something a little bit faster to read, I would say, like shorter. And I'm still in the mood for fantasy-ish. And I think this could be very uh, appropriate. Now, I don't remember that much about the book itself. I do remember that there is like a... I think it has to do with the Library of Alexandria or something of that nature. And I kind of believe that there is some academic vibe to it, whether it's dark academia or not. I am not quite sure, but I do remember something of that nature. The book is actually right here. Yeah, this is the book. As you can see, this is the cover that actually caught my eyes. All I know like about this book, it's getting so much hype to the point that there is like a new release of like a hardcover, hardback cover and there is a special edition that is also I think you you could sign up for a signed edition that will come up later i think in october or something of that sort i feel like it could go either way i could really like it or even love it or it could be an overhype oh i've been rambling for <laughs> too long um so yeah i will be reading this one i'm also kind of assembling and um dealing with my bookshelf <laughs> or not bookshelf but my bookshelf units. I have done the first one, I need to do the second one and um, I have like a raw wood situation that I need to oil and I've already started the process but I need to do a second layer right now to oil them. I think I could like easily just put the audiobook on and just work on the bookshelf unit um, and then after finishing the oiling I will just simply continue with the book. Maybe I will even continue with the audiobook while I am like following along in the book. So yeah, let's start with this whole thing.
47 now um, so I have finished chap the first chapter basically uh, regardless uh, I kind of feel a little bit not sure up until this point so basically this is about six people who are highly gifted um, I think it's kind of like magic is kind of accepted in this world however there is some people with even more like higher ability than others it's kind of alluring and our characters here all six of them are super super naggy and kind of annoying um i wouldn't say all of them are naggy it's just like they have their own twist of annoyance about them and they for the most part they seem like they are the kind of people who would bicker a lot i i knew like going into this that this would have a certain vibe like something like that but up until this point i don't know if i actually like any any of them doesn't seem like i am feeling anything particular about any of them especially nothing like very positive about any of them and i'm not quite sure about like the writing style either not my favorite in terms of like styles i don't i don't i i can't judge that of course right now i need to go further into this and read more but yeah it's it's not particularly something that i would enjoy i feel like there is a lot of room for improvement in the writing style i could be it just could be me i don't know and one very important thing that i've noticed the audiobook has a lot of phrases that it's kind of different there are definitely full-on sentences that aren't necessarily in this book i'm gonna take a wild guess and say that i think the new like release of these books might be more so adjacent with the audiobook than the this so they will be more i i believe or i guess there will be more like the audiobook or the audiobook is more like the newer editions so i will keep you updated obviously but and i'm gonna keep reading preferably though i would either stick to the audiobook on its own or to the reading on its own or should i i guess it, it could be a, a good way if i continue using the audiobook while i am reading just to see if these changes are throughout the book or just like few sentences here and there maybe it could be a good experiment and also a good a good thing to know so yeah i'm gonna continue with it and as i said i will keep you updated once i read more about it if I would have read this book or started to reading this book without the audiobook with the initial text in here I would have even more issues with it I am noticing that the audio version is becoming more and more more eloquent than the actual text in here in front of me I, I guess like this whole hype that this book got just made the audiobook version and possibly the new releases of this uh, book more refined i guess it's not it's still not my favorite style 
Right now, I don't think I could read the book without using the audio along with it. Otherwise, I don't think I can continue with it. I think that's a big note to consider. So, I have completed 85 pages and I am I'm feeling a little bit more into the story now. As I said, the premise and the atmosphere of the story is very, very much intriguing and um, I feel like drawn to it. I don't feel like, I don't feel like I'm exhausted by it or anything. It's just, uh, and now actually in this particular chapter, because I am now within chapter three, I feel like within this chapter we're getting to know more about more details about this society thing but again in a very vague way but just a little bit a little bit more about what is going on exactly I feel like now I am more intrigued I'm still not sure about the characters like specifically the character interactions it just feels a little bit weird maybe I, I don't know some of it feels a little bit forced and some of it is too annoying for my liking i guess but i'm i'm not at the point that i feel like oh yeah i can't read this anymore i'm just like actually enjoying over overall the premise i think it could be like as i expected it's kind of delivering a quick read for me and uh, yeah I'm not mad about it I'm just not head over heels for it either just like some things are interesting enough to keep me going but generally speaking I feel that there are um, a lot of flaws if you want to call them that that it just like they're kind of prohibiting me from fully enjoying in enjoying the story so yeah but um, as i said i'm i'm gonna continue with it it's a little bit over 5 pm and uh, i think i'm gonna take a small break it is gloomy outside we thought we had spring but evidently mother nature decided that no nope, it's not the time yet i think a week ago or about 10 days ago we had like a beautiful weather a lot of sunshine and warm weather in general and then just a couple of days afterwards we literally had snow so genuinely speaking it is kind of confusing and today there is a little bit of wind but it's mostly gloomy and actually rainy so the, the amounts of rain are very charitable <laughs> I, I really like i don't mind rain it's just like an observation morning so welcome to another day today is saturday the weather is fairly nice today it's actually very sunny uh, i was thinking of like going outside and kind of taking a walk or something but maybe not now because i still have my final coat of oil on the bookshelf units that i was working on yesterday yeah it's quarter to 11 right now and I think I might be able to manage finishing that in like half an hour maybe three quarters of an hour so by 11 30 a.m. I might be finished so I could probably go on a walk right then if I feel like it now for the book the book the book yeah because that's what we are here for uh i have managed to read up to page 
106. So I finished 106 pages. I thought that I might be able to finish at least um, to 160 pages or something of that sort, but that didn't happen. I really wanted to reach this section right here, the time section yesterday. Look at this, this is one of the characters, by the way. Spoilery. Uh, <laughs> no, not really, it's just like the... I'm spoiling the images, but it didn't happen. Um, I got caught up with other things and... Um, however, um, I'm still in the same... Like, I still have the same feelings about this book. I, the more I read and listen, more importantly, to the audio, the more I'm convinced that you should, if you have, haven't read this book and you are thinking of reading it for, for the near future or what have you, and you haven't bought it yet, just go for, I think, the new editions of it or the new releases because it's, it's not the same. I'm pretty sure that that one has to be similar or the same, hopefully, as the audiobook because the audiobook has a lot of new things in it. it there's a lot of details missing in this book. And I do think that because of the hype that this book had, some things had to be changed and actually some things has to be elevated. Because let me tell you, if I just really rely on this edition of the book, on the older edition of the book, and with no audiobook whatsoever, I don't know if I would have continued with the book. And even if I did, it'd probably be like a... I don't want to say like a two stars, maybe a two out of a ten, to be completely honest, read. Now, with the audiobook, up until the point that I am, like, that I have reached, I'm kind of thinking more like 6 out of a 10. Maybe I'm predicting that it might get like a 6 out of a 10, but 6 out of a 10 is much, much better than 2 out of a 10. Speaking of like 10s and starring and rating and all of that, I think I am getting a little bit like wary about all like this whole rating thing so i don't always feel comfortable actually rating even though i say it all the time but deep inside i don't really uh, feel that comfortable in general so maybe i was thinking maybe if i like give like a number between like one and ten it could be maybe even more accurate, at least it will reflect a little bit better and I could have even wider range. So if I feel like I want to rate something, maybe it's best to go into the giving a number out of a 10 rather than just a star out of a 5. And even if I didn't do that, to be honest, even if I just said that I like this and this and that and I disliked this and this and that and that's about it like if I if I gave my opinion that way I don't think it will take anything from the experience itself but some people I see sometimes for some reason you kind of feel better if you if you have a number attached to a something to something maybe if it feels more cohesive that way. I don't know, I'm rambling right now. Anyway, I'm gonna actually continue with the audiobook right now and just finish working on this bookcase. And uh, yeah, maybe I will up update you later, even though it seems like right now I'm not updating anything about the book more so than ranting about random things. I hope you don't mind. I have actually now my headphones, by the way, because I don't want to spoil anything in case I keep the audio on. So I'm, I'm flipping 
the pieces that I have with yesterday and I'm going to continue with the oiling process. There's a lot of things to be done when you have raw wood, obviously. You can stain them, you can paint them, you can lacquer them, you can do whatever you want. I just wanted to do something that is fairly simple and not very complicated. So oiling it is. And I found, by the way, that using a, a cloth, a piece of cloth, to do the oiling much, much easier than using a brush. If you're using like a regular lacquer, I guess, the brush would be an essential. You can't avoid that and you have to go with the grain of the wood and just with one stroke to keep everything smooth. You can't do this with a brush when you are lacquering. However, with oil, I think you can, especially if it's the one that I'm using. It's literally just a translucent oil. It doesn't have any color in it, so it just gives the wood a little bit of warmth because of the oil itself, but it doesn't really have an actual stain in it. It just it happens to stain the oil naturally because of the oil consistency. So yeah, using a piece of cloth I found to be the best and uh, I'm gonna start with my final coating and hopefully if not today because I want to leave them out to dry completely tomorrow which would be a Sunday but I will still try to assemble this to have it next to its friend so yeah that's super super exciting I will have like plenty of place to work with I think in the future I will be expanding because this is a very tiny book unit. I think it will be much, much more logical to have it expand, but right now I just wanted something that could contain everything and I didn't want to, you know, have all the shelves at once because this takes a lot of work. So. I didn't do a very good job at explaining what this book is about at the beginning or even throughout when I was actually reading it. Let's just recap a little bit about this book. Evidently this book is a dark academia type of a book with a twist of magic and a little bit of mystery and maybe some rivalry between like classmate-ish they are not necessarily that but you know we have people that are in an academic setting that literally just are competing to be in this secretive society this organization just every 10 years or so they pick the best six people with magical abilities, which they call Medeans, if I'm not mistaken, because there is or there are some other people with magical abilities that are called witches, as far as I gathered from what I've read. However, they call them Medeans, and from these Medeans there are like people with different abilities. Oh. <laughs> From these Medeans, there are people with different abilities and supposedly they track down like the best six people in like every like 10 years or so and they put them in this competition-esque environment for the opportunity to be 
initiated into this society. So the setting overall is a very dark academic feel, but with no school element. So there isn't actually a school there. Um, it's more of like they are put together in one place, which is not thoroughly described, I would say. So here's my issue. It is, it is like a very promising setting overall, a very promising atmosphere and a cool concept in general. However, I feel like, especially when it comes to the world building, it's a very surface level type of a description when it comes to everything that's going around. Like even the science-based magic, which that's like one of the elements that in theory sounds really cool that the actual magic system there is based on like science. It's not really articulated, I would say. It's not really that well described. It does have like, I don't know, more of like a basic level descriptions of things. And you feel like most of the time, or I felt most of the time, that things are lacking in a really like I would say a very, sometimes even annoying way. I just wanted to know more. I wanted to more to to feel more immersed in this whole experience. Like everything on like the surface level sounds amazing, but I didn't get like enough from it. I wanted to know more. I found myself feeling a little bit disoriented, almost like with with all of it because of the lack of information, in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, this is one major thing I would say about the book that it just like, it had, it had so much potential and there was like, like I was so intrigued by, but I felt like it didn't really deliver that much. However, I gotta say that even though I said maybe up, <laughs> up through like the the first half of the read i wasn't really connecting that much with the book uh, i think that feeling of you know i want more that disorientation that i was feeling just got in the way of even like my enjoyment somehow however something clicked midway through there is still some sort of a mystery elements that wraps everything together that keeps you going almost and I feel like that helped so much with me feeling like, yeah, this is this became a fun read, even though there are plenty of things that I am not necessarily that happy about, I still enjoyed myself. So it's a very weird experience for me. Like I get why people would love this book. Like I really, I really do. But I think like the things that I was so fixated on like especially the first half, just took away a lot of the enjoyment. Luckily though, I feel like it wasn't like a something, like a loss or something, because I still ended up feeling like it was a fun read. Like it's not the best book I have ever read, which is fine. Not every book has to be uh, your favorite or what have you. However, I do feel like I, got at the end at least i felt like i had fun with it and especially when things started to i guess like on the second half things started to be more interesting when i hit that midpoint with the book i also felt that a lot of the the characters that i wasn't really rooting for or anything i started to warm up to them i wouldn't say that i liked the bickering that much or the anxiety inducing type of a conversation. I'm not a person who really enjoys a lot of like dramatic bickering competition-esque feel in like my reads. I don't particularly seek that out. I could possibly enjoy it but I it's not something that I seek or that I look for whenever I'm looking for something to read. So it's not necessarily my favorite thing. However, it's sometimes it's kind of entertaining to watch and, or in this case, 
do we need obviously um, but it's it's the process itself sometimes it's it can be entertaining other times for me personally it can be exhausting I have to say that all in all after finishing the book do I think the book is overhyped Unfortunately, yes, I do think the book is a little bit overhyped. I do appreciate though that there are so many elements of this book that, that are actually captivating and I do completely understand why people love this book this much. However though, I also can see from the other side or the other perspective i can also tell why some people really don't like this book i am on the other hand just on the middle ground there's a lot of room for improvement in my opinion uh, one last thing i have to mention again is the difference between the audiobook and the physical book at least the one like the original book the original physical book that has like been published before like the new editions this book lacks a lot of the information that the audiobook provides i think that the audiobook includes a lot more details that are kind of important to the story and they add on an extra layer of depth to the story but they are still not enough to make at least in my opinion to make the story and particularly the uh, world building in the story and even the characters but mainly the world building the story it doesn't really add to the point that you could consider it like oh yeah this is this is satisfying now it's not to that point but however it's much much better than just reading this original the original release i guess so yeah i think the better way to go is either to get the audiobook or to maybe try your chance with the newer editions. I think that might be even, uh, I think the newer editions may have the correct correlation. I don't know what went on behind the scenes, but I do know that the audiobook has a lot more information than the original cover that I have right here. So just you pick whatever works for you, but I don't advise getting this one if you don't already have it and you are interested. I think you would be better with just going for the newer editions of these books. That being said, thank you so much for watching. Um, and uh, yeah, this, is, uh, this has been a wild ride and uh, I will see you hopefully in another video. Until then, take care.